Two women stabbed in a home in Attleboro, and tonight one of them has died. Investigators called to a home on Leroy Street where they found the pair. Good evening to you. I'm Anaritis Rodriguez. Tonight, Attleboro police say the victims knew each other. WBZ's Tiffany Chan is live on the scene in Attleboro with the latest. Tiffany? Tiffany? When first responders arrived, they found one woman bleeding profusely, and now they're identifying her as 28-year-old Kimberly Dufley. She later died at Sturdy Memorial Hospital. Now the investigation is underway right now. Police say they have yet to make any arrests, but they said everyone knew each other here. One woman is dead, another at the hospital after a double stabbing in Attleboro. It was chaotic at first when we, uh, when we arrived on scene. There was, as I said, numerous people, um, victims, um, some of the victims were walking around. A home near Banks and Leroy Streets blocked off with crime scene tape. The city's police chief says an officer found one of the stabbing victims bleeding and asking for help. Both victims are female. Uh, both victims were in their mid-20s. Um, the call came in, as I said, at 4 p.m. We re responded. Um, one of the victims ran from the scene and uh, approached the uh, Attleboro police officer who was ha happened to be working a detail uh, adjacent to the uh, to the home. Anthony Pinkham lives nearby and tells us he saw one of the women with bandages on her hand. I saw two of them. The, the girl was actually sitting up in the stretcher when they put her in the ambulance. The guy, he, I didn't see anything. He was pretty much laying on his back. Police wouldn't say if they made any arrests, but tell us they are not searching for a suspect at this time. Detectives combed the area for evidence and took photos around the home, trying to piece together what sparked this violence. We're still gathering more facts. We're still trying to uh, talk to more people. And police cruisers blocking off this home, trying to uncover a motive here. We're being told the second stabbing victim is still in the hospital. Live in Attleboro, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News. Tiffany, thank you. This is